A big thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. Pebbles, what are you doing? You can't stay there. You're in the shot. Morning everybody, fantastic to see you all again. So this is the third time that I've tried to do this vlog and shoot the amazing heather that we get in the Peak District at this time of year. And both of the times have failed for one reason or another. I've had camera problems or the weather's not been right. But finally I've got out and I've got to a fantastic location. But as you can see behind me, it's blue sky, which is good because it's lighting up the heather really well, but I haven't got that dramatic sort of cloud that I really wanted to get. So I'm going to hike up here. We're at Ramshaw Rocks in the Peak District and see what I can get. But it's just fantastic to be out and photographing. So would you stay for a minute so I can be brave? Let me catch my breath. So the other thing is that we've got these grasses which look fantastic as well. So not only have we got this amazing sort of heather, but these grasses when they catch the light really look stunning. So I'm actually really excited about tonight. So I'm pleased to say that Pebbles is here with me today on the photo shoot. So hopefully she's not going to eat any more microphones. You're definitely not going to eat any more of the microphones, are you, Pebbles? Okay. And you can see that I've got these amazing rocks in, in the background and they're lit by the, the light on, on the left-hand side as you're looking at it. And the heather, as you can see, just looks really, really amazing at the moment. So the sun's going to go down over there. The light's going to get more golden over here. And what I'm going to try and do is find some really nice foreground heather and a rock and then the grey colour with this purple just looks fantastic and we get that foreground heather with a rock to sort of set off the distance and Pebbles posing as you can see on top of the rock now um, don't fall off Pebbles oh, it's so nice to be out right better go and find a composition That's why. So as you'll see when you come around that I'm actually going to shoot in this direction. As I spoke about before, the light is coming from over there onto these rocks here. Now, I tried to get a higher point here just to see what it's like when the light is just casting onto the tops of the heather and whether if I shoot from high up and, and, and look down on it, how that looks. But ultimately, I think I'm going to, I found a rock down there. I'm going to shoot that rock as the foreground and then it's going to lead up through the mid-ground down the sort of path that you'll see in a minute to this amazing sort of Ramshaw rocks in the background. Now it's really interesting because obviously I'm shooting at the end of the summer now but the, the, the sun still rises sort of north um, east east and sets north west west so you know it's very different than it is in the winter when here I, I, I'd, al I'd almost um, be shooting with the, with the sun behind me. So this is quite often a better sunrise location because the sun rises over there um, and I can get sun on the other side of the cliff and then I can get some of the glow as well which I won't get in, in this image. But it's spectacular, I mean just look at this now, it just is fantastic. So it's just a case of going back down over there and, and just taking it easy really. I've had a fantastic walk with pebbles which is just amazing and ah. Oh, I'm just in my element here. God, I love being out in the open like this. It's so fantastic. Even if there is a main road down there, which you can probably hear. What a fantastic location. Right, I'm gonna grab a shot without falling off the cliff down there, because that wouldn't be good. This is the composition that I was talking about when I was up there. It's a rock that I've shot so many times before and I've never really got the right conditions for it. I've either had no heather or 
it's rained or it's been blue sky and, and nothing's ever really coincided and today's another one of those days. It's just not quite worked, has it Pebbles? Nope. So you can see the sun's gone now and, and this should be the prime time to take this particular shot where the sun is just casting really golden rays on there and I got it about 10 minutes ago but it's not quite as golden as I wanted. But I'm going to talk about the composition because I'm not going to get the shot it's because the sky is too blue there's no clouds up there and the light's gone but i've still got a good composition so the composition is all about this foreground and then leading you through the image with all the other rocks and the heather through the midground to the distance but what's really good in this image is the balance so i've got it um i've taken two shots i've taken one in portrait and one in landscape and i'm going to tell show you both of them but the balance of this shot is what's so important because this rock and those rocks up there sort of balance each other out a little bit. And where you place this rock in the scene is really important as well. So I'm gonna show you a shot where the rock was placed over these rocks on the, on the right hand side there and a shot where the rock just sort of fits nicely into the scene in the background. So it's almost a little bit like a jigsaw puzzle. What you're trying to do is connect the elements of the scene to make a really, really good composition. And that's worked really well. And it then just needs you know, light and timing. And the timing's wrong because I'm not here at the right time when the clouds, you know, I need some clouds above there just to anchor the scene. And as you see, what's wrong with it is your eye will just drift out of the scene into the blue. But, you know, everything else is good. The, 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 the composition's good. I just need to, that light and that timing. But it's been a great time. It's been great to be out with Pebbles. And, um, and it's great to see the heather like this as well. And I've spotted another composition further down as well, which I know I can come back to. Okay, as you can see, I'm back at home now. And um, before I talk to you a little bit about what's going on here and the golden ticket, then I just want to talk a little bit about those two images. For me, that, that trip was all about what photography and landscape photography is all about. And that is that it's very rare that you get those things that I talk about, subject, timing, light, and composition all in one. In that case, we got a good subject, good composition, but we didn't get the light and we didn't get the timing. We had a reasonably good light, but not perfect. And, you know, landscape photography isn't easy. If it was easy, then, you know, it, it wouldn't be as much fun, I don't think. The fun for me in landscape photography is that chase, that moment when everything comes together and it's just so amazing which didn't happen this time, but I know that one time it will, and then I'll run around like a headless chicken trying to find that composition when actually the time and the light are just coming, just coming right. And what I'd say is that perseverance and patience is what you need in landscape photography to, to get that shot. So I will be back there, hopefully we'll get that shot, but for now it didn't quite happen, but I've still learned a little bit. I've found that composition that I really, really want. I've honed it a little bit, I've photographed it with the heather, and I know that I can go back when the light's right and the timing's perfect, and hopefully one day get that shot. So what, what are we doing here? So as you can see in the background, Emily um, is doing a fantastic job of packing all the calendars. Um, and thanks ever so much for ordering your calendars if you've pre-ordered one. We are now, we've now got, I think, three days when this video goes live before I have to close the pre-orders. Because what we do is that we send all the addresses out of Squarespace. Um, I export them all and I send them to a company that then delivers them to the countries. And I think, I was looking at the stats out of Squarespace as well, and I could see that we, we'd, we'd sold it to 43 countries now, I think, um, which is amazing. So these calendars are gonna to go to 43 countries. And what I wanted to do this time is do something a little bit special. So I'm gonna put one golden ticket in the, um, in the package. So the next one that Emily packs, we'll put this golden ticket in. And whoever gets this golden ticket, will get a free one-to-one -one workshop with me for a day. And we'll go out and take some amazing shots 
So Emily, in this one, if we stick the golden ticket in, so we're going to put the golden ticket in that one. Like I said, I don't know who's going to get it. So if you've pre-ordered and you've still got three days to pre-order, then you might get a chance of getting it, which is really exciting. So make sure you check your envelope when you open it. Good luck with that. So what I want to do is talk a little bit about Squarespace, the sponsor of this channel. And not only do they just sponsor this channel, and obviously that's really, really helpful for me. It means I can get out and, and do great photo shoots and share that with, with you guys. But they also allow me to just do something like this where I'm selling my calendar and the e-commerce part of it really easily. That Their platform's so simple to be able to set up your e-commerce um, website, take credit cards or PayPal or Apple Pay. You know, I've done that really, really seamlessly and really quickly. So that's fantastic. Now, if you wanna go and trial um, Squarespace, you can go to squarespace.com and when you're ready, to actually purchase it and go forward with it, then make sure you go to offer code Nigel or forward slash Nigel for 10% off your website. Okay, thanks ever so much for watching and until next Sunday, bye. So I'm laughing now because <laughs> my wife and daughter are here with me and they're pointing at pebbles to come over here, but she's just not doing a good job of that. And there's loads of flies that are attacking me, which is not good. So here she comes, come on Pebbles, Pebbles!